rivers and lakes and ponds, and they just ship them all over the world. <laughs> In 1882, Old Stump in Arizona, sheep farmer Albert Stark faces a gunfight with rancher Charlie Blanche over a debt. Desperate to avoid conflict, Albert tries to evade the duel but is shot in the leg by Charlie. The townspeople turn away, leaving his girlfriend Louise disappointed in his cowardice. Albert and Louise picnic by a river where he laments the whole gunfight, but she ends their relationship citing the lack of a future together. She leaves him alone despite him telling her he loves her. In a saloon, church-going shoe repairman Edward waits for his girlfriend Ruth with a flower. Ruth, a prostitute, is in the middle of a session with a client. The brothel's manager, Millie, questions Edward about his feelings, but he remains steadfast in his love for Ruth. Ruth eventually joins Edward downstairs, but Millie informs her that she must return for another appointment, much to Edward's discomfort. That night at the saloon, Albert joins Edward and Ruth, lamenting his loss of Louise. Despite Ruth's attempt to console him, Albert spirals into a rant about the dangers of frontier life. He gets drunk and rides to Louise's home to win her back, but his efforts fail. Outside town, an old man is riding in his carriage with his dog Plugger holding a piece of gold. Their peaceful journey was abruptly interrupted by a group of outlaws led by the infamous Clinch Leatherwood. Despite the old man's protests and his wife Anna's pleas, Clinch insisted on a twisted sense of fairness, instructing the old man to draw his gun for a duel. The old man does so, and Clinch says they will shoot on three. Clinch shoots on two and kills the old man, despite the protests of his wife, Anna Barnes. Clinch dismisses her and grabs the old man's map to Old Stump. The outlaws split up, and Anna beckons the old man's dog to follow her. Edward comes over to Albert's home, and they walk to see the ice being delivered from Boston. They then spot Louise out with her new man, a wealthy and mustachioed businessman named Foy. Despite his anger, they proceed to observe the massive block of ice being delivered. Albert explains its significance to Edward, but their conversation is cut short when the rope holding the ice snaps, fatally crushing a man's head and shocking them both. Albert visits Foy's store, Mustachery, for mustache growth products, only to be mocked by Foy, who taunts him about Louise. Later at the saloon, a cowboy accidentally spills his drink on Lewis, who demands a replacement. When the cowboy defies him by putting out his cigar in the drink, Lewis shoots him, triggering a chaotic brawl. Amidst the violence, Albert and Edward pretend to fight, avoiding being targeted while the brawl escalates around them. Albert sees two men almost fall over on top of Anna, who is pouring herself a drink, but he jumps in and saves her. He takes her out of the saloon and walks with her. They sit by a cliff as she rolls him a cigarette. Albert confides in Anna about his troubles with Louise, while Anna reassures him, believing he's a good man. As they chat, a diamondback snake passes by, and they freeze to avoid provoking it. After the snake leaves, Anna suggests to Albert that they attend the fair together over the weekend to make Louise jealous. On the day of the fair, Albert and Anna stroll together, but Albert points out the potential dangers of the fair. Their concerns are validated when a photographer accidentally sets himself on fire, triggering a deadly shootout that kills the visitors. Amidst the chaos, Albert and Anna encounter Louise and Foy. After some tense exchanges, Albert challenges Foy to a shooting contest for money. They play a very racist shooting game called Runaway Slave. Foy shoots six targets with six shots. He excels while Albert fails miserably. Anna then steps in to make the challenge more interesting. She opts to go as fast as the game can go so Foy can give Albert a dollar. She tells the operator to go at the fastest speed and hits every target. Surprisingly, Anna proves to be an expert marksman and wins a dollar from Foy. He again continues to mock Albert, so he challenges him to a gun duel the next day. Foy accepts, but Albert immediately regrets the decision. Anna takes it upon herself to teach Albert how to shoot properly by setting up tin cans as targets, but he cannot hit a single target. With time and practice, he gradually improves. Anna rewards his progress with a pot cookie, which Albert hesitantly accepts despite his aversion to drugs. As they watch the sunset together, they both become intoxicated. Meanwhile, the sheriff delivers Lewis his nightly meal, but is overpowered and killed by Lewis in his cell. With the sheriff out of the way, Lewis seizes the opportunity to escape. 
At the barn dance on the eve of the gunfight, Anna wears an outfit accentuating her posterior. Spotting Foy and Louise together again, tensions rise just before the sweetheart's dance. Foy, reveling in his superiority, requests a song glorifying mustaches, humiliating Albert. Anna offers to grab some whiskey for them, which she does by tricking the bartender into making him think his fly is open. Before leaving with Albert, Anna puts a laxative in a drink for Foy and tricks him into taking it. She then tells Louise that she's an idiot for letting Albert go and then makes fun of her big eyes. Albert and Anna drink and bond, and then he gets one of the sheep to bring Anna a photograph of a man smiling, which is considered insane since nobody smiles when taking photographs, and one must be insane to smile in a place like the West. Emboldened, Albert kisses Anna, but immediately apologizes. He escorts her back to her hotel, where she reciprocates the kiss. Unbeknownst to them, Lewis witnesses the intimate moment. As Albert rides home, he notices a glowing light emanating from a barn. Investigating, he finds Doc Brown tinkering with the DeLorean from the Back to the Future series. Doc hastily conceals the vehicle and claims it's a weather experiment. Albert leaves afterward. On the morning of the gunfight, Anna hears a knock on her door and assumes it's Albert. With a smile, she approaches the door, only to find Clinch standing there. In the town square, Albert waits for Foy, who emerges staggering from the effects of the laxative. To everyone's shock, Foy defecates in two hats before preparing for the duel. However, Albert unexpectedly drops his belt and gun, declaring his unwillingness to go through with it. Later, at the bar, Clinch arrives accusing someone of kissing his wife. Albert confronts the cowboy he believes to be responsible, leading to a deadly confrontation. Clinch grabs Anna and takes her away, forcing her to reveal the identity of the man who kissed her, or he will shoot Plugger. She admits it was Albert. Clinch turns his back to take his clothes off and have sex with Anna, but she grabs a rock and whacks him over the head with it. She goes to hop on her horse to leave. She goes to reunite with Albert, but he's packing his stuff. Feeling like another woman he's loved has disappointed him. Anna tries to tell him that she loves him, but he doesn't want to listen since she lied to him. She leaves but warns Albert that Clinch always shoots on two. Clinch goes by Albert's farm to look for him with Lewis and another goon. Albert hides among his sheep before he manages to ride away on his horse. Clinch shoots at Albert and rides after him. Albert manages to ride over the train tracks before the train passes and then hops on the train to escape. He takes the horse far away before a rock is thrown at his head and he is knocked unconscious. Edward and Ruth, fearing for their safety in Clinch's presence, decide to consummate their relationship. Later, Lewis interrupts their intimacy but fails to find Anna. She escapes through Edward's window and encounters Clinch outside. Albert wakes up to find himself tied to a pole. He sees that he is surrounded by the Indian Apache tribe. The Apache chief, Kochise, orders someone to burn Albert because he is part of the other white asshole group. But Albert surprises them when he speaks their language, admitting that he studied a lot in his spare time. The Indians take him down, believing they can trust him simply because he speaks their language. They sit him around a campfire and give him a drink to help him achieve the courage to confront his problems. He is given a bowl to drink from, but he drinks the whole thing, which was supposed to be for the tribe. Albert then has a trippy dream sequence where he flashes back to his childhood where his father didn't care that he was born, and then tricked him into putting his tooth under his pillow as a child for the tooth fairy to come, only to find a pile of horse shit under the pillow. He recalls his graduation from school where Abraham Lincoln made a loud and crude speech. Then, Albert sees himself in a field with Anna chastising Louise for letting Albert go. A door appears, with a sheep commanding Albert to open the door when he's ready. The handle is a snake, which hisses at Albert, but he grabs it and opens it to see Anna in a wedding dress, waiting for him. He walks through the door to see nothing but a condor with Clinch's face swooping down at him. He shoots at it and then kicks it in the balls. He snaps out of the hallucination and realizes he's found the courage to do what he needs to do. Albert thanks the Indians and rides off. The next morning, Clinch holds Anna hostage in the town square, awaiting Albert for their gunfight. Albert arrives, prompting Clinch to release Anna. They draw their guns, and Albert, recalling Anna's warning, shoots Clinch in the arm after counting to one. Clinch shoots Albert's gun, preparing to kill him. 
but Albert pleads for Anna's life, distracting Clinch with a goofy chant before revealing that the bullet was laced with venom extracted from a snake. Clinch collapses, realizing he's been poisoned. Albert's triumphant speech is cut short by Edward and Ruth, who inform him that Clinch is already dead. Albert and Anna reconcile as Louise attempts to reconcile with Albert, who chooses Anna. They walk away together, Albert using the reward to buy a large flock of sheep, with Anna by his side as they kiss amidst their newfound prosperity.